Unfortunately, it seems that there are constantly different kinds of storms threatening our planet, taking people's lives and leaving countless homeless. Storms is something of a collective name for various kinds of destructive weathers, one of the most prevalent of these being hurricanes. In fact, we have so many hurricanes on our planet on a yearly basis that to understand what hurricane is being talked about, names have to be given to them. And I'm not talking about mighty scary names that fit the power of a hurricane, I'm talking about mundane human names. In the past, hurricanes have been given names like Matthew and Leslie. So despite this video being set around a why question, there is way more to it than simply why do we give hurricanes names? Who is even giving them these names and how are these names picked? But before we do any of that, I feel we should clear up what exactly a hurricane is because we also have terms like tornado, cyclone and typhoon. What's the difference between all of these things? Well, hurricane, cyclone and typhoon are all names for the same thing. The key difference between them being where they form. If it forms over the North Atlantic Ocean or Northeast Pacific, then it's called a hurricane. If it forms over the South Pacific or Indian Ocean, then it's called a cyclone. And if it forms over the Northwest Pacific, it's called a typhoon. Tornadoes are kind of a different kettle of fish altogether. They form much more sporadically and anywhere, but don't last anywhere near as long as hurricanes and don't travel that far either. A twister is another name for a tornado. It's hurricanes that we are looking into today, however. Though these other kinds of hurricanes, like typhoons and cyclones, do get names too. The etymology of the name hurricane comes from the Mayan god of wind, storm and fire, Huracan. Also during this video I will be using hurricane and storm somewhat interchangeably as a storm is a collective name for all these things and sometimes a storm doesn't become a hurricane but it still gets a name. So why do we give these forces of nature such mundane names? Well it all comes down to ease of communications. Originally storms were tracked by year and order they occurred. The first named hurricane in the states was called Hurricane Abel in 1950. Before this hurricanes were called things like Hurricane 2 and and Hurricane 3. It's safe to say that names like this weren't too easy to remember and if multiple hurricanes were happening simultaneously it could get difficult to track various hurricanes if they were just labelled as numbers. Names were given to hurricanes to avoid any confusion making them easier to communicate written and verbally with others whether those being figures of authority, sailors at sea during these storms or civilians on the ground. These names become easier to ingrain in our heads in turn making it easier to raise awareness of the havoc they are causing. The first hurricane I really remember was Hurricane Katrina and even when I hear that name today I still think of that hurricane. In fact when I think of hurricanes full stop I still think of Katrina. So giving them names like this must work as it clearly worked for me and I was only 10 at the time. But who is even giving these hurricanes names? This video is called why do we give hurricanes names? But I say we in the broadest sense. When there's a hurricane I don't personally get an email asking me what it should be called and I imagine you don't either. Unless you are part of the world meteor Geological organization of course, the specialized agency of the United Nations created to establish a worldwide meteorological observation system. It's the WMO who give the names to hurricanes and storms in the Atlantic. These names however aren't just chosen out of a hat or anything, there are six lists of names used on rotation consisting of female names initially, but male names are added in 1979. These names go in alphabetical order, minus names starting with Q, U, X, Y and Z, and the names switch between male and female names, meaning the first name named hurricane of the year will always start with an A. Confused? Well, let me give you an example. The 2016 storm name started with Alex, which while can be a male and female name, in this case it was a male name, as the next hurricane of the year was named Bonnie, a female name. After that was Colin, then Danielle, and so on. But this doesn't mean that every first storm slash hurricane of the year starts with a male name starting with A, as each year the genders of the name swap. So, while the list of storm names in 2017 did start with with a name beginning with A, it was a female name, that being Arlene, which was then followed by a male B name, Brett, then Cindy, Don, Emily and so on. Like I said, these are on a six year rotation, so the names used in 2016 will be used once again in 2022. That is unless the names get retired of course. If a storm or hurricane is so ferocious, the name of it will get retired. The aforementioned Katrina is now retired, and in 2016, Hurricane Matthew was deemed so strong that the name Matthew was retired, so in 2022 it will be replaced with Martin. But this naming system only applies to hurricanes of the Atlantic. What about say, typhoons of the North 
Northwest Pacific. Well, these names are picked by the Japanese Meteorological Agency, but is based on a database organized by the World Meteorological Organization. Like the hurricanes, there is a compiled list of names. However, instead of having six lists of names on rotation, there is just one list of 140 names collected from nations of the surrounding areas, such as Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, Cambodian, and Filipino names. However, while the Philippines is part of this, they will use local names when a typhoon is in their area. In example, the 2014 typhoon Neogoli became Typhoon Florita in the Philippines. Like I said at the start of this video, these powerful storms disrupt so much life on this planet. It was only recently that Hurricane Florence caused a huge amount of damage in the Carolinas and Typhoon Mancoot tore through the Philippines. There will be links down below where you can donate and help humans like yourself who have been affected by this severe weather. Thank you to all my patrons who help Name Explain become better on a monthly basis. I normally ask if you guys could donate to help Name Explain, but this time please consider donating in any way you can to help people affected by these severe typhoons and hurricanes. Thank you.